649 now. This is your morning in eight minutes. Right now, the Granger County Sheriff's Office is looking for a suspect. They say burned down multiple barns and a home. They're offering a $5,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. This is happening in the Washburn area. Granger County Sheriff James Harville tells us three barns and a house are burned down. He says the barns contain tractors, hay and other farm equipment. Good news, no people or animals are hurt. Fire officials are warning everyone to avoid that area. The sheriff's office and the state fire marshal are now investigating this as arson. And a family is without a home this morning after a fire in East Knoxville. Officials tell us it happened around 2.30 yesterday on Kyle Street. Thankfully, no one's hurt, but the fire did cause extensive smoke and water damage. Investigators are now working to figure out how it started. Right now, the Sevier County Sheriff's Office is asking you to be on the lookout for this missing man. Investigators say Elijah Oliver was on his way to the Fort Campbell Army Base on Wednesday when he did not make it. His family has also not heard from him since then. The Sheriff's Office says Oliver was driving this silver Mazda you see in the picture here. It has the Tennessee tags BCM 2598. If you see this car or Oliver, call police immediately. Meanwhile, the Sevier County Sheriff's Office says they do not suspect foul play after a group of hunters found skeletal remains. Officials say the remains of 25 year old Dylan LaFollette were found Thursday on Indian Warpath Road in Seymour. His family tells us that's just a few hundred yards away from their home. LaFollette was reported missing back in September of 21. And the Vulcan Corey in Sevierville is now working with the Mine Safety and Health Administration following the death of an employee on Wednesday. Officials say John Ogle died after being hurt fixing a machine. The company now launching a full investigation and is working with the administration right now. And a former, camp, former Campbell County jail employee is facing charges this morning after being arrested for impersonating a police officer in Oklahoma. Jackson Jones was arrested in Oklahoma County on New Year's Day. The sheriff's office there says Jones pulled several people over by flashing his lights. Some witnesses claim Jones was being aggressive with them. He was wearing a ballistic vest that said sheriff on the front and was carrying handcuffs and two knives. He was eventually caught, still claiming he worked for Campbell County. Campbell County officials say Jones no longer works there. He is charged with impersonating an officer and transporting an open container. The Knoxville Police Department says violent crime is trending down. New data release shows murders fell 15% last year. Non-deadly shootings stayed the same. And there was a 21% drop in car thefts and a drop in burglaries. But aggravated assaults were up. Chief Noel says these numbers are not the numbers his department wants to see, but things are trending in the right direction. And Tennessee lawmakers looking at ways to tackle the state's backlog of those untested rape kits. A Memphis senator is filing a bill that requests the TBI test kits within 30 days of receiving them from law enforcement agencies. It also calls for the TBI to submit a plan to eliminate the backlog. We could see some action during the upcoming legislative session that starts on Tuesday. And this morning, a three-year-old girl in Middle Tennessee is recovering after police say her preschool teacher deliberately threw a metal chair at her. The teacher, Cameron Faye Hunter, originally told her bosses the girl fell and hit her head. Detectives in Bedford County say they checked the classroom security cameras and footage showed Hunter picking up the chair and throwing it across the classroom, hitting the little girl in the head. She has a bruise and knot between her eyes and is expected to be OK. Hunter was fired immediately. The school contacted authorities and the Department of Children's Services. She is charged with aggravated child abuse and is due back in court on January 18th. Well, right now you are taking a live look at the U.S. Capitol this morning. The House of Representatives is still without a speaker. Lawmakers will be back today for another round of voting. One group of Republicans is standing firm in voting against Kevin McCarthy as Speaker of the House. The California Republican has been working the floor, engaging in intense conversations, and he made new concessions to try to win over party holdouts. 20 Republicans refusing to back McCarthy, preventing him from getting enough votes needed to become speaker. It's 218. One holdout, Florida's Matt Getz. He cast his vote for former President Donald Trump. Voting will start again today around noon. Also today, it marks two years since the riot at the U.S. Capitol. President Joe Biden will mark the occasion by giving the Presidential Citizens Medal Award to 12 people who served that day. Honorees include law enforcement officers that were hurt, as well as poll workers who rejected efforts to overturn the 2020 election results. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, who died the day after, is receiving a medal posthumously. 
The man accused of killing four college students in Idaho is officially charged with four counts of first degree murder. Cell phone data, DNA results and security camera footage all link Brian Koberger to the crime scene. According to the latest court documents, he is being held without bond. He's due back in court next Thursday. If convicted, Koberger faces a possible death penalty or life in prison sentence. WBLT is proud to be your official station of the Vols. The eighth ranked Tennessee basketball team back on the road tomorrow afternoon against South Carolina. Tip off against the Gamecocks set for 3.30. You can catch all the action on the SEC Network. And as expected, the Vols have promoted quarterbacks coach Joey Halsley to be offensive coordinator. He replaces Alex Golsch, who left for a head coaching job at the University of South Florida. 655 now getting a look at your first alert traffic. This vehicle fire in Roan County that was just blocking the right hand shoulder has now closed all of the eastbound lanes starting around that exit for Gallagher Road. So you're suggested to get off of the interstate, get on Kingston Pike, reconnect with I-40 once you get past this incident because then the interstate is moving once again through the 4075 split and toward downtown Knoxville. The volume is still pretty light as you're getting out the door. You're mostly on time. We are keeping an eye on that vehicle fire for you. Your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Heather Haley. Almost 656 now. Remember, today is all clear and dry. In fact, the first couple of little light showers trickle in tonight into tomorrow morning. But that's when we could see a couple of light snow showers, especially at the Tennessee Kentucky line, couple on the plateau and the Smokies. But overall, the rainfall for your Saturday, about a 40% coverage and also a few hundredths to a tenth for the most part. You can actually even see just outside of our area where there's some heavier rain. So it's lifting up a bit better for Sunday. That's what drives up more of an 80% coverage Saturday night and then tries to come back down Sunday afternoon in coverage, but this is also still the heavier rainfall potential. A good half an inch to three quarters of an inch moves into our area, especially first thing Sunday. So now when we talk about the fact that we're back to a normal chill this morning, not too bad. All clear in 35 Knoxville to 30 Whitesburg to 29 in Crossville. Beautiful day, lots of sunshine, a little bit of a chill in the air as well, per usual for January with your high of 49, feeling a few degrees colder. So if you missed that timeline of the rain for this weekend, I've got you covered coming up on the CW. All right, Heather, thank you very much. I'm just glad to see not, you know, the, the big Arctic blast we got over Christmas and all that. Glad to not see that on the forecast right now. It is 6.56. We're headed over to WBXX. we got two more hours of news, weather, and traffic. Have a good one.